Okay, three, two, one. So this one, this um, uh, YouTube video is about um, Ukraine and um, having experience as a first responder or EMT or firefighter and volunteering and what's going on with that line in Ukraine. There's many stories. New York Times has a recent story. Uh, stories from 2022, uh, 2022, 2023, 2024. Actually, on Instagram, I just found a uh, one about uh, an ambulance crew, and they have this ambulance that's all shot up, and uh, they're working in this broken ambulance. Um, I'm thinking that it's armored because, oh crap, I gotta turn on. Okay, so I'm thinking the ambulance is armored because of, um, Okay, that just, that's working. I'm thinking the ambulance is armored. Um, there's It was an ambulance that looked like this off of the New York, what the Washington Post uh, ambulance. This is the ambulance that's all destroyed. Not really working. But um, I read that they're looking to, they have lines of ambulances that are armored and, the, and there's armor in the ambulance and um, on the ambulance crew as well, for obvious reasons, for safety, because they're in a zone that isn't really normal. Um, with bombs and shrapnel wounds and bombs blowing up around them when they're driving, because they're obviously obvious targets. Uh, and uh, as this article would say, that they're trying to destroy Ukraine. They want to destroy him. Flat jackets, helmets. Um, and here's an example of a person from California I uh, decided to go help him out. Um, it's very important. She has experience medic in Afghanistan. And the injuries would be, you know, gun wounds, trampoline wounds. And those wounds are very advanced skills um, to uh, learn. Um, trying to pick through these articles, see what I can find. Uh, and here's another example of a person in 2022, um, years ago, went and decided to go and help out. Um, that was before I even had this YouTube channel, before I even, I never thought about going to go help. But this guy has experience as an EMT and a voluntary firefighter, or soon will join the battle. So he went and helped. He has first responding training, like I do. Um, but this guy went in 2022. Um, and here's another example of US medics traveling to Ukraine. Uh, I'm a medic that kind of, you know, I, I, I read this and I'm like, I kind of want to go, go over there and help him. And, um, go on this adventure to a different country and go travel. Uh, but uh, the reality of that is that I do not speak Russian or Ukraine. Um, I went to school. Um, I have training like these other C CLS training. 
you know, these other people have training, and um, this guy is advising him not to go because of the va ballot field and that Russia and Ukraine, you know, communication is a big deal. That would be very hard, and bullets flying in the atmosphere, and not being ready for that atmosphere, which is where I don't really qualify um, I uh, was looking through this website to see how you there's actually an application where you have to you, where you have to go apply and um, this was years ago um, there's also other battles around the world so but this this one is the only one that includes us as of right now. You know, there's Israel and Gaza. That one doesn't really include us. But this one does because Ukraine is kind of our ally. You know, Russia, the enemy. And there's also two sides to every story. But here is the uh, questionnaire. I was very close to submitting first name, last name when I was born and the um, I'm very close but a couple issues is money I was look I looked at plane tickets said about uh, one thousand dollars um, to get there and then traveling around and um, I don't speak Russian or your crane um, and uh, I don't know that I have the right experience because like I think this firefighter is a good example um, but all those guys went went and volunteered a while 27 year old perfect example 27 years old um, EMT and volunteer firefighter went to go help years ago when that first started unfortunately it is now 2024 but um it's something I should think about uh, if you like the experience but jumping into that would not be a good idea because um, yeah. I feel like it's a big step, too much of a step for me to even do that. Um, but it's a thing I thought about. And as you can see in this picture, you know, you would be sitting there, they're probably speaking Russian or Ukraine. And I wouldn't, if I was there, I wouldn't be able to have that communication with those people. Unless I had a translator. So, um... Yeah. That's what this channel is about. Um, medic, and I would like to do more of these videos on these articles. I think it would be really cool. I've, ne I've never seen uh, this questionnaire that I could literally apply. But, um, yeah. Anyways, thank you. That's all I had to say.